Hi, I'm Nagdan Sari and this video we're gonna talk about the most used panels in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember that we create a widget, widget blueprint class, and in our character class we add it to viewport, okay? And now I'm gonna talk about the panels. The first panel that you always see that automatically when you create a widget class is added to your project is this canvas panel. With this canvas panel you can put for example button and set the anchor point for that and say the absolute position for that. So no matter how much the size of a screen change the position of this button to this anchor point will be the same but using this canvas panel is not the best way to add your widgets and buttons and text for your ui so best way to align things together is like this let's just delete this button in here and you can see you can delete this panel and after that if you go down in here in panel you can add this canvas panel again okay you can have it like this the first type of panel that i want to talk about is this horizontal box okay so let's just make it bigger and what this horizontal box is doing for us is you can stack buttons text or whatever you want you can add it to this uh, horizontal box horizontally aligned okay it makes our life very much easier so for example let's just add some button to this horizontal box by just dragging this button to our horizontal box okay so now you can see that there is three button in here and because the side the default size of them is small you can see it clearly and let's just collapse everything in here and go to appearances in, in a style in normal we can change the size of this button so for example 200 to 200 200 or all of it of course you can click uh, hold control and click both of these remaining button in here and change the size uh, for both of them together like this 200 200 for y and because it's inside this horizontal panel horizontal box in here when we change the image size for y for example to 1000 okay nothing will change why because when you click on this horizontal box you didn't check the size to content if you check this you can see that this horizontal box change its size to match what is inside of it okay we don't want that for now okay so no whatever we add to this horizontal box it will be aligned and it is beautiful right for example you can see that this button is in here and when you click on it there is two arrow in here and with that you can change the position of that button like this and you can see it changed in here as well so let's just bring it back and i want to change the name of them to btn0 this one btn1 and btn2 okay so we have three button in here that we can change the location of them in our horizontal box by clicking on this arrow button you see whenever you add a button to a, a canvas panel you can see this button is at this canvas panel so let's just put it in here so you can see it clearly that this button is not inside our horizontal box when you add it you can see that the name of the slot in here is canvas panel slot so this is canvas panel slot but if you put a button in horizontal box the name of this slot will be horizontal box slot and it has some options and let me show you the first thing in here is padding how much of padding you want for, uh, for your button for example let's just put 10 in here and when we zoom you can see there are some padding for this button okay and we can do that for all of them just hold control and click, click all of them and change the padding to 10 for example if you want let's just bring it back with control z we can do that the next property that this horizontal box a slot has is the size should it be auto or fill when you set it to fill it fill it will fill the remaining area of this horizontal box okay so this you know that the width of this bu uh, button is 200 and this 200 if you sum it up it's like 400 right and for example it's remain 600 uh, space in our horizontal box and if we set this button to fill the rest it will fill the rest okay and let's just do that for all of them and now you can see that there is another property in here and this is the, the relative size to other buttons that is in this uh, horizontal box okay so for example we want this button to be twice in size of these two buttons so we can change this to two and because this two is one this uh, the relative size is one so this button no has twice the size of other buttons okay the next property that i want to talk about is this horizontal alignment and vertical alignment 
that at default it's to feel horizontally and feel vertically okay so for example let's just change the image size to 50 and 50 and because we set this to feel horizontally and feel vertically no matter how much we change this image size it won't change its size but if we set it to for example left align you can see it that no the the width of this button is 50 and again for vertical alignment if you put it up top align top align vertically you can see that no over button has size of 50 and 15 okay we can align it to the center we can align both of them to the center to the right um you can put it wherever you want and um it will give you a lot of option to create cool stuff with this there is another panel that is called vertical box and we, if we put it in our screen i know you know it by know how it works it's exactly like this horizontal box but it's vertical so if we put button in here let me put some button again another button okay and if we put it to the field all of them to the field click select both three of them and put it to the field and you can see it is stack up vertically and you can do a lot with it just remember this video it will help you a lot in your ui design and it always be at the right position and that was it for this video guys i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye